Hello Flosstube, this is Alma the Tattooed Crafty Now here on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> for anyone that is new, welcome. And for those who have returned, um, hello again. Uh, look at me, I'm recording before six months. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it's been about a month since I last recorded. And in that month, um, I went to a stitching retreat. Uh, I went to the Crazy Women Stitching Retreat, um, put on by Misty in Casper, Wyoming. And it was a great retreat. I loved it. And um, I will talk about it a little later when I get to the um, haul part of it. So since we last seen, I mean, since we last since I've last recorded, um, I have had a finish. Um, I had stated that I was going to do Sparkle September and because of everything that I've been doing and because I decided to, um, I don't know, every time I put my uh, goal for myself, I never do it. Why? I don't know. It's just my brain. As soon as I say, oh, this is what I'm going to do this month, I want to do the complete opposite. But I have tr been trying to um, do work on my Sparkle um, projects, and I hope to be able to bring them out. But I'm not 100% sure because I do have other projects that I want to do before um, my next two retreats, which are the Queen City Stitch Retreat in Charlotte, North Carolina, put in put on by Maggie uh, Maggie Kitchen Whips and uh, Amy from Fiber Arts Amy, and Stitch West, put on by Snug Harbor Crafts. Um, and if you could see, I have a mess over here again because I've been crafty, so um, excuse the big mess here. Um, but let's get started. And like I said. Uh, since the last time I recorded, I have had a finish, and that finish is my Sunflower Farms. This is a pattern by Corey Betacore, I believe. Um, I can't show you the, excuse me, the pattern because I've passed it on to a very lovely friend of mine but um i don't think i need the um pattern because it's a finish so this is a one-off uh fabric from um hand dye by rolanda i got it a long time ago and this is the finish so i, I did finish it in my retreat um i'm calling it a finish it finish for now because <clears throat> I have the word farm in here but it's stitched in white and on this fabric it is not the greatest um you can't see it <clears throat> so what I did on the bees the bees have um the wings and uh they're in white but what I did is I um back stitched it in black I also did that in the pole right here right here and somewhere oh and I so but when I did it on the white of the farms I did not like it so um it's a finish for now because it's done I'm done with it but um I don't know what to do to do with the farm so I might, um, oh, in these, I bastard stem in black, 310. Um, I might try to stitch, backstitch this in, um, in like a light gray, maybe. Um, and you can see my nails, they have a sunflower too. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, I did make some changes. So the first change was the fabric. It, on the pattern, it is on a tan so I wanted it a blue and I changed it again this is a, I believe a one-off from um, hand dyed by Rolanda I did 
change the skin color of this little guy. I wanted him to look like my son because this is, this project reminded me so much of my son because he plants, uh, he used to plant sunflowers with his aunt and he used to grow huge. So, um, and he actually had a plant, a sunflower that grew really, really tall. So, um, and I th thought it's funny that this sunflower is right next to him and it's like taller than him. But I did. So I changed it to his skin color. I did change her skin color to look more like mine. Um, I did change her hair color as well. And I changed this um, table. This table was stitched in white. And again, the problem with the white does not look, you can't see, through, see it. So I changed it to brown. Thanks to Ray and Stephanie for helping me out to choose out that color. And here it is, all done. So it's a finish for now, it's gonna go away. And until I know what I wanna do with it, I was thinking making maybe making it a big pillow, um, but I'm not 100% sure. So it's gonna go away until I know what I wanna do with it and then I'll figure out the, um, the word farm, see what I want to do there. So I've also had a new start. Um, I, because uh, Sunday was the first day of autumn. So I decided to start the Autumn Quaker by Lila Studio. So this is what it looks like. Um, on my other two, my summer and my spring, I started in the middle, but because I don't know if I want to change the quote, I decided to start it in the corner. So, um, this is what it looks like. It is stitched on a 40 count linen boneyard by Be Stitch Me. Um, and called for DMC. And that's it. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. This is, I st again, I started on the corner and I did the little leaves and one of those half Quakers. It is on the Q-Snap because I am going to keep on working on this. I think I'll probably work on it in another for another day or two because I, right now I'm in the kick of, I'm working on things until they bore me and then I, I switch them out. So this is where it is. So that's a new start. And now for my whips. Um, I have worked on a few things, not a lot. Again, um, like I said, I was supposed to be doing Sparkle September, but you know, tell me to do something and I will do the opposite. So the first one I worked on is um, Autumn Bee by The Blue Flower. And there goes my stuff on the floor. So I'm working on, I've worked on The Blue Flower and this is a 32 count Jobelin. by Bee Stitch Me. As you could tell, I was in her fabric of the month and I love her fabric. I am not in her fabric uh, club anymore at the moment. I was running out of room to put it all. So I did change these, um, the colors from Dinky Dice to Classic Color Works. Gentle Arts to Gentle Arts. And this is where I, well, this is where I was before, if I have a picture. And this is where I am now. So I know for sure I worked on the acorns. And I had stitched this like um, leaf that it has right here, oh, right here. But I stitched it in the wrong color. So I had to unstitch, unpick, frog, whatever you want to call it. And I started with the new color. And I did find out that these inside, no, Yes, the little 
diamond here. There's little diamonds here. I stitched them in the wrong color, but they're going to stay because I'm not going to unstitch all that. And so I'm just going to switch whatever that col the inside color was. That is supposed to be the inside color. And then whatever the that color was supposed to be, I'm going to stitch the rest of it. So here it is again. Sorry for the lighting. I had to close the windows because it is loud outside. And if I don't record now, I won't record ever because... My house is always busy. So I also, so this is when I tried to stick to my um, Sparkle September and um, I pulled out my Marabilia. This is the one I'm working on, on Lady, Lady of Mystery by Marabilia Nora Corbett. Um, I am doing a conversion on her to greens and, <clears throat> greens and grays. Again, this is gonna be for my knees. It will be um, her quinceanera present, and she is a Slytherin. I am working on a 28 count Jovelin by B Stitch Me. It's a mystery name. Ooh, ooh, there you go. No name. I believe I got it in um, a fabric Friday night fight night. There you go. And this is where I was before. I need to remember to do that. And this is where it is now. So in the retreat, I pretty much did all the green. All the green. Which was really good because it's a good fill-in when you're chit-chatting with everybody and you don't want to count. So again, she has no head yet. So I'm just trying to figure out the conversions see if I like it. Um, people in the retreat did say that they like it and it was looking good so that gave me confidence to continue and not you know restart. Again I don't know if I'm gonna do I'm for sure gonna do the flowers in her hand but I'm not sure if I want to do the I'm not sure if the frame's gonna fit. So we will see once I finish her. And the next Sparkle September project that I worked on was, give me a minute, I'm trying, I'm trying to do like the least amount of editing in it on this video, so um, I do have this picture, it's my Shadow Lane, my beaded butterfly tile, um, so I worked on this one. Um, she is on Hibiscus by Be Stitch Me. I believe it's a 28 count. I'm not sure. So this is where she was before. Why am I calling her she? Where it was before. And this is where it is now. So what I worked on was trying to do those one over one butterflies and sorry if you could hear the truck um i did those one over one butterflies and then just did the um the outside border with petite treasure break and that's pretty much all i did because those one over one butterflies were giving me a headache and I didn't want to work on them anymore. So I actually wanted to jump in and start beating the butterflies in here. But I know if I do that, I'm not going to go back and do these one over one butterflies. And I need to do those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish these one over one butterflies and then backstitch the outside of I'm sorry, the inner border. And then reward myself by for by um, stitching, beating the butterflies. So that's where it is. Isn't she pretty? And um, this was my second project I worked on for Sparkle September. 
I'm not a hundred. Well, let's let me show you my last whip that I worked on, and then I will go into plants. So the next project I worked on was Rapunzel by Donna. Shoot, I had her name. Donna Stitch. Donna Stitch. Donna Stitch. So this is what it's gonna look like. I am stitching it on in 20, I'm not 100% sure if it's 20 count or 18 count. Um, Ada that I got at Joann's. And this is where it was before. And this is where I'm at now. So since I saw my friend Ray and we started this with, um, with each other, in our cruise, I decided, oh, since I'm with her, I'm gonna stitch it. And um, she's beating me, she's like way ahead of me. And um, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna catch up to her. She's probably gonna finish it and I'll probably still be here. <laughs> but it's okay, um, every time I see it, I'm gonna, I, re I remember her and um, so. So those are all the whips that I worked on. Um, again, oh wait, I did work on something else, but it was a gift for my friend Robin. So for her birthday, so I don't have it with me and my smart butt didn't um, take a picture. So I don't have that, but I did finish something else. And that is all I have for whips. I... Like I said, I went to the Crazy Women's Stitching Retreat, had a blast, it was great. I loved being able to see uh, my my friends and give them big old hugs. Um, I, when I say this, she's gonna know what I mean. Um, so please, nobody come for me. I want to say that I was so happy to see my friend, Uncle Fester and to give her a big hug and to know that she's um, doing great, she's doing better. And all I have to say is um, Oreos are great and she needs to have, she needs to get her eight ball tattoo. Anyways, she knows what I mean. She, I believe if she sees this, she'll know who I'm talking about um, and know that I love her and I hope to see her in the next retreat in March. So, um, in our retreat, our guest designer was, um, counting puddles, puddles, sorry. And she is a beautiful lady. I love her, her projects. Her, her patterns are very, they have a lot of texture to them. And I was glad to be able to see them in person because I actually had a lot in my wish list but I wasn't a hundred percent sure because they looked kind of um complicated online um so I'm glad to be able to was able to see them in person and uh so she gave us this was an ex the retreat exclusive uh for crazy woman I'm not a hundred percent sure if she's going to release it or what but um this is it isn't she pretty? So, um, we received the pattern. We received the fabric, which is from Live and Die LA. This is, and we received the floss for the pattern and other goodies that I completely forgot what they were. A water bottle. I'm not a water bottle, a water, yeah, cup. So, so if anybody knows me here, these are a little too girly for me, these colors. Um, I don't do really girly girly, but I love the pattern. So I am going to stitch it, not sure when I'm gonna stitch it, but I'm gonna stitch it. And I'm gonna make changes in the colors. I love the, the pattern itself, just the colors are not my vibe. So, 
I am going to change her into black. Um, she's going to be a black horse. And I may change some of those, um, some of the rest of the colors. But I'm not sure what kind I'm going to have. So, yeah. So she's going to, she's, she's going to be a, like a dark horse. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. I'm not, I don't have all the details of how I'm going to change it yet, but I know I'm going to change it. So those were the exclusive, that's the exclusive. And she had a pop-up shop there. So I decided to buy a couple. I wanted to get all of them, but I didn't. So I've been eyeing this one. Isn't that cute? This is called Spooktacular Party. Um, Brew Crew. Pretty. And this is her new one, Books Are Magic. And me and some of my friends are going to start this at Stitch West. So um, it's going to be a start along, not a stitch along, because we all stitch. Well, Ray's going to start it and she's going to finish it in like a month, but we're going to start it together. So. That's all I got from her pop-up shop, but there's a lot more that I wanted. And then I got this. This is a freebie from uh, the Mirabilia. Uh, so if you want it, go to their website. And then I believe my friend Robin got these at, um, what do you call those? A sale, a yard sale type thing that excuse me, that she has back in her house, not in her house, back in Texas where she's from. So um, she texted me, she said, hey, do you have these? I said, no. So she's like, cool. So um, this is Vixen by the Nor Corbett line and Dancer. Again, from the Nor Corbett line. So Thank you, Robin. She also got me this really cool water bottle that I did not bring here. And I just want to say thank you, Robin. I love you. And, I, and it's I've been using it. Thank you. And that's going to be my new retreat water bottle. And um, Cindy from Stitch. Shoot. What is her name? Well, her name's Cindy, but her... Stitcher Express. See if I thought about it a little while. I figured it out. So she's Stitcher Express. She had a, a pop-up shop there. And um, I got some goodies from her. I got uh, Stay Cozy. I believe that's an exclusive to her. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. I got Bony Bunch from Plum Street. I also got Grimm's House Haunt, uh, Santa's House from Cartage Garden, the House Barn, also from this the Cottage House series, uh, Floating House, and Lighthouse. So, um, I saw Brenda Handwork Maniacs project in person and oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm not going to do all the houses because not all of them are my jam, but, um, since I saw hers and it, they're beautiful and now I need to do them all in one, um, one fabric. I believe she's doing it on a 46 count. I've never worked on a 46 count, the largest, smallest, largest. Uh, count that I've done is 40 count so I may just get like a 46 count and try a 46 count but I'm not 100% sure um and I, oh, I also got a 12 monthly mini minis from Primrose 
I saw it somewhere, don't know where, someone, don't know the person's name, and they're making these tiny, like, these cornus out of these, and they're putting them in a jar, and I thought, it was like, what a great idea. So I may start that, since it's the beginning, I'll probably start it in January and do one a month. Since I'm in a Biscornia cook right, kick right now. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when I start that. And that's all that I bought. So I did participate in the Smalls Exchange. I forgot her name. I'm sorry. Jill? I want to say it's Jill. But I'm not sure. Um... I got her small. So this is the small that I received. I love this because I was actually going to buy this one and stitch it for myself. But now I don't have to. So um, this is my smalls. And honestly, I went for this one project because I love the little bag it came on. So this is the little bag. I believe she said she made it. So I saw the bag and I was like, uh, yes, that's mine. Thank you. Um, I also, I thought my dog was going to bark, but he, he didn't. So I also got this little bowl with all these pins. And I thought this was so cute. I love the little bowl. I love all the little pins. And I love my small. So, that's gonna live over there. So that's my small. Um, this is the smalls that I did for um, my exchange. And um, I have a picture with the lady. Hopefully I, put, I posted the picture. You know what? I might not post a picture. I forgot. I might just like crop it and put the smalls that I gave her because I did not ask her if I could post her face on YouTube. So I'm going to respect her and I'm just going to crop it, crop the smalls that I did because uh, I didn't take a picture of what I did. Horrible. Um, so I did get goodies. For my friends um these are I, I got a lot more of this but i came home and i put stuff away because i'm a horrible floss tuber and i forgot to keep these out i only kept these out because they were in some of my project bags that i took to the retreat so i got i received a lot more of this more stuff but um that's all this is all I have right now and I can't go in and dig for everything that I got. So my friend Ray gave us these little mini mini mouse keychains. Uh my friend Stephanie gave us some cool scissors. I'm so glad I took a check bag because then I would not have been able to pass the TSA with my my in my I wouldn't be able to pass that in my carry-on. We got a little book. And some fabric. So, that is all the cross-stitching that I've been doing. All my retreat goodies. Well, some of them because I didn't keep all of them out. I didn't keep all of them out. So... Um, I have been doing some crochet and uh, some crochet and knitting. So this is a new hobby for me and of course because it's a new hobby I'm gonna go crazy and buy everything because you need everything, right? So I did buy Shagu my Shagu knitting needles because I needed them because I have projects in mind and might as well buy the whole set. I believe it's cheaper than to buy um, 
one by one, you know. Um, but I bought my Shagun knitting needles. Don't ask me all the specifics because, again, I'm a baby knitter. I'm a baby knitter, so I don't know. You know, it, it goes from 2.75 millimeters to 10 millimeter. And they're the interchangeable ones. So I could change the cord, change the needles, and all the good stuff. And if you have any ah, any um, tips, tricks for baby knitters, let me know because I'm a baby knitter. And um, I did take a class and I did, I did make a beanie in a class. So, you know, I have some knitting experience. I am making a shirt. It's a freebie uh, on Ravelry, on Ravelry, Ravelry. Um, so I'm hoping uh, I'm doing this correctly. Um, you know, I think uh, my whole thing of starting a new hobby is go big or go home. So that means I will give myself a headache trying to figure out things. Um, Trying, trying to figure out things on my own on YouTube. I can take another class, but because my life is crazy, I can't make it every time. So, you know, I'm trying to figure it out. YouTube, you know, YouTube helps a lot. So this is... Mm, a worsted, worsted weight. So this is this is the info. Here you go. I believe that's the color name. I believe that's the dyer, and that's all the information it gives us. So, you knitters out there know what that means. I don't really. So, um, I do want. I have a whole list and ravelry of things that I want to do, and try. So. Um, but I am trying to do one thing at a time, one knitting project at a time. Um, I did make this little bag, yeah, my knitting bag. Sorry, I can't give you in detail information because I'm not good at that. So I am making another, I'm, and I am also still crocheting. I am... I finished the dress, and again, because I'm the worst YouTuber ever, I don't have it. I know this is a leftover yarn that I did my dress with. It's a, a cotton cake for Caron. Um, this is the detail. And whenever I wear the dress, I will post a picture of but see, I have all this left over and I don't know what to do with it. I don't know if this is enough to make like a shirt. I know for a fact I can't make a uh, sweater out of this. So maybe a shirt. Maybe. We'll see. I'll figure that one out. Maybe a shirt for my niece because she's super skinny and we probably don't need any yarn. A lot of yarn for her. But... Anyways, I am also crocheting a shirt. I'm hoping, <laughs> I am hoping this shirt will be for me. But there's a possibility it will be too short for me. You know, I'm a heavier set child person, so I don't really like crop tops. But I am following a YouTube video. If you need that YouTube video, let me know. And I believe this is called ribbing. It's just a ribbing um, shirt. It's a simple shirt. You know, I don't know how to show these. So, I am using this yarn. It's a lion brand. That's the name of it. 
this is all the information. Well, let's do this. That's that information, and that is the name of it. So if that helps you, you experienced knitters, crocheters, there you go. Uh, maybe I won't show my knitting and my crochet because I don't know how to explain those yet. Um, but I do, I did see that my friend Amy is starting, um, yarn monthly subscription. Um, she's dyeing her own yarn now. And I mean, what can't that woman do? Um, but I do want to try it. Um, I believe she said it was wool and I know if I'm not mistaken, wool is very hot, like it's very warm. So I do live in California, so I don't know if that's going to be too hot for me, like too warm since it doesn't get that cold here. But either way, I want to support her and I want to try it. So at least I'll get one skein to see maybe if it's not too, I've never really touched wool. I may have touched wool, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm not very informed by it for those things. Um, so I'm going to try her. I'm going to order some, try it, and figure out. Maybe I'll do a monthly yarn. I mean, I don't really need yarn, but I want the yarn because I love all her colors. And I know that she works with color very well. So I am going to try her yarn. Hopefully, if I don't forget, I'm going to place the order right now. So that is actually it. Hopefully you enjoyed my rambles and sorry I couldn't give you any more information on the knitting and the crocheting because again, I am teaching myself. I think I do that a lot. I try to teach myself and I try to, I loved school. I loved <clears throat> learning new things all the time. Sorry. I love learning new things. So once I get the hang of things, I go in search of new things to learn. So I don't know if that's a good thing or it's a bad thing. Probably my husband thinks that's a bad thing since I keep getting all the, you know, gadgets and gizmos that go with, along with a new craft. But that is all. That's all I have for you today. And if you are still here, thanks for sitting around and listening to my rambles. Uh, so I'll see you next time. Hopefully not a month from now or six months. Bye. Bye.